It has been a packed week for logistics startup Flexport. Last valued at $8 billion last year when it also topped CNBC's Disruptor 50 list. The new CEO, Dave Clark, who joined Amazon a year ago, is out. The previous CEO, founder Ryan Peterson, is back in that seat. Peterson since rescinded some outstanding job offers, emphasized profitability, and said Flexport needs to go back to close communication with customers. In his first broadcast interview since this shakeup, I spoke to him today about all that. That product that we're launching today is the culmination of that acquisition that we did. And, but it's much, much more because what we've done is take our international services and connect it seamlessly through so that you can ship freight all the way from any factory in over 100 countries into these retail networks. So we have over 50 sites with more than 3 million square feet of storage. That's reserve storage as well as pick pack and final mile capabilities. So we can replenish wherever you're selling your goods. If you're selling it on Amazon or Walmart or any other service, you can pick your own fulfillment provider. We're merchant first, we're neutral. You choose whatever's good for you as a business and we'll replenish that uh, automatically. So you don't have to be constantly monitoring your inventory stock at these different services. Our technology integrates and then automatically ships out whenever, the, whenever stocks are running low based on your sales volume through those platforms. That new product announced today in Seattle, designed to sort of show the power of that acquisition of the logistics business from uh, Shopify just back in May. Now, I also asked Peterson what wasn't working with Dave Clark as CEO. Uh, Peterson wanted to emphasize not the spending issues as much as customer relationships. The big thing about business to business that's different from consumer logistics is it's how you engage with customers and therefore how you engage with your own team because it's professionals who are out here selling every day, who are out here talking to customers, meeting with them, understanding the problems they have, the issues they have, things that we need to resolve, the opportunities we have. And as the CEO of Flexport, your job is to be out there, whether that's out there meeting with the customers or with our own teams and engaging. And that's the thing that we understood that wasn't happening. And honestly, that's the reason we built Flexport. One was the technology. We felt like tech wasn't good enough in global logistics. But two, and just as important is, the companies have to be obsessed with how they help customers, really engaging, seeing the world through their eyes, solving problems. Now, I pressed him on the cost issue, though. Look at Amazon. Won't building out a last-mile logistics network require big spending and periods of losses even after Flexport reaches the profitability that he wants? Ryan said no. We'll have some physical assets where it really solves the customer problem. We're not dogmatic about asset ownership, but in general, our view is we should be profitable as a business and then reinvest those profits in a way that just compounds capital. And that, that's where business honestly gets simpler and more fun is if you're just compounding capital, that's, you know, that's, that's the eighth wonder of the world, right? Compound interest. And if we can just generate that cycle, it's a, it's a simplification of like how you think about your business. Where, do you, where are you going to reinvest? How do you earn return on capital? And investors are going to love that framework that we bring to, the, to this business in the years to come. Uh, so, no, I wouldn't expect that we, like, go up and down. I want to be, we're going to get to profitability and then stay there. Uh, but we're also going to find great ways to reinvest the profit. 